Assalamu alaikum. Let's study about Norma occipitalis today. So we are talking about the posterior aspect of the skull. So here we can find some bones. So these two bones, these are the parietal bones. Parietal bones. Okay. And then we have this bone, which is the occipital bone. Occipital bone. And uh, we find this thing, which is the mastoid process mastoid process of the temporal bone so we have the parietal bone the occipital bone and the mastoid process of the temporal bone on the posterior side all right and if i clear all these things we will see a suture between the parietal bone so this suture this is called as the sagittal suture sagittal suture all right and uh, this suture which is between the parietal and the occipital bone that is called as the lambdoid suture lambdoid suture and the intersect in between and that is called as the lambda lambda so you can remember this word lambda from the lambdoid suture okay and if we tilt the skull this way you can find a suture here this is between the occipital bone and the mastoid process so that is called as the occipitomastoid suture occipitomastoid suture so we take the name of the suture from the bones involved okay occipitomastoid suture and then we find this suture here which is between the parietal bone and the uh, mastoid process of temporal bone that is called as the parietomastoid suture that is the parieto Horrible. What did I do? Oh my God. That is the parieto mastoid suture. All right. Now let's get back to the posterior aspect. Here we find, if we zoom in, we find a little, uh, you know, prominence that is called as the external occipital protuberance so that is the external occipital protuberance i'm just abbreviating it in order to save time there is nothing no term like this okay this is external occipital protuberance and we find these lines going from here these are called as the superior nuchal lines and few cases we have a faint line going above these lines they are called as the supreme or the highest nuchal line supreme or highest highest nuchal line and then we have a line let me just show you let me just erase all these things so this this line which is going from the external occipital protuberance towards the posterior aspect of this foramen this is the foramen magnum that is called as the external occipital crest that is the external external occipital crest all right and we have uh, this line which goes from the middle of this external occipital crest that is the inferior nuchal line so this one is the inferior inferior nuchal lines all right so this was in brief about the norma occipitalis when we study about the occipital bone in isolation we will get to know more about the anatomy hopefully thanks for watching hope you like the video and don't forget to subscribe and comment take care till you meet next time allah hafiz